bad emails kill outreach campaign. You've scraped LinkedIn, enriched your leads, but if 50% of those emails are invalid, you're burning time and money. In this video, I'll show you how to automate email validation, score leads by confidence, and if you stay until the end, the self-hosted tool I use to slash validation costs by 90%. Let's start with a quick recap of the series so far. In the first video, we've set up Slack and an AI agent to generate leads from a single prompt. In the second video, we've used SERP API to scrape Google for LinkedIn profiles based on those prompts. And in the third video, we've enriched those leads with company data and LinkedIn profiles. Today, we're solving the final problem, validating emails and tagging them for sales. Let's dive in. Now, to automate email validation, we will use N810, the workflow tool we've used throughout this series. The workflow runs every four hours or manually to pull enriched leads from NoCodeDB, validate their email, and update their status. Quick note, if you haven't set up NoCodeDB or the Slack AI agent, check out part one and part two for the full setup. First, the NoCodeDB fetches the leads in batches of 50, where the lead status equals 50%. For that, we use the filter by formula in NoCodeDB, and we limit to get only 50 leads at a time. Then we loop through all of the leads, and for each lead, we check if they have a company. If they don't have a company, we mark them as partially in enriched and we update the NoCodeDB table with lead status equals partially enriched. If they do, however, have a company, we use the HTTP request node to get the company's website based on the ID of the lead. Once we get the website, we then move on to the Hunter IO node to get the email and the score of the email. And the Hunter node takes the first name, the last name, and the domain that we got earlier, and it returns a, an email and the score and the confidence score. But here's the catch. Hunter.io charges for lookup. At scale, this can add up very quickly. So stick around after this workflow. I'll show you how I replace this with a open source alternative that gets cost by 90%. Once we get the score from hunter.io, we use the switch node to sort those emails into four buckets. The email not found, if uh, hunter.io doesn't uh, find an email. The email found but with low confidence if the score is under 40%. Between 40 to 70%, it scored email found with moderate confidence. And if it's uh, above 70%, it's then considered high confidence. And next, we set the lead status based on those scores that we can update to NoCodeDB based on the confidence score. So the set nodes here are just to set the lead status so that we can update the NoCodeDB table, uh, specifically the lead table, with the appropriate confidence score of the email. So in here, depending on, on the score, we set the lead status and then we merge them all into the update lead status in NoCodeDB, and this way we keep all the leads up to date. So I added this uh, wait. This wait adds 10 to 20 seconds delay between each uh, lead. This uh, is done to avoid hitting the Hunter API's rate limit. And that's it. That's how uh, we update the, our database and we keep our CRM uh, ready for the outreach. Before we test this live, let me ask you, what if you could validate emails without monthly fees? I'll demo my custom setup at the end. It uses an open source software and an AI agent to do the exact same thing that we just saw with Hunter.io. But first, let's see this workflow in action. So when we click on test workflow, we can see here that we got the NoCodeDB uh, leads. If I refresh here, you will see that we have uh, some leads that we have enriched. And I can see already that we have the first lead with email uh, found. Uh, we can now see that it's still going through the leads and uh, depending on the uh, status that we get from um, answer.io, so we get the email if it's found and the score. And depending on the score, we update uh, NoCodeDB with the, all the information, so the email and the score of the email. And if I go back to NoCodeDB, you can see here that we have now uh, more rows updated. We have found some um, emails with high confidence and they are uh, stored in NoCodeDB, as you can see. So now the free alternative. I have created an, an alternative to Hunter.io using an AI agent 
and then open source API. But basically, it does the same thing. The way it works is instead of calling the Hunter API, I have this AI agent that takes in this, that takes the same information that I put into Hunter.io. So the first name, last name, and the company's domain. And it has a, um, a prompt. So the prompt says, you are an email ex production expert, use email verifier tool to uh, check each pattern. So I give it the patterns of most professional emails. So we have like, for, for example, first name and first name as domain, last name at domain, first name, last name at domain, etc. So I gave it uh, 40 patterns that are mostly used. And uh, the next step is I give it the, the calculated confidence score. So the base score is 60. If the response of the, uh, the API I use uh, gets us a catch all. So th that means that any email you send to the domain. So let's take the example of Apple. If I say only at apple.com and apple.com is a catch all email address, that means that the company has a catch all uh, email. Uh, if catch all equals false, so uh, only at apple.com doesn't work, we give it plus 20. Uh, SMTP check, it means that we checked the SMTP. So we tried actually the email. Unlike Hunter.io, this actually tries live the email. Hunter.io uh, works with a database, so they have a database uh, emails that, are, that have been tested, but this one tests live the emails. So if the SMTP check is true, we give it plus 10. If the MX is found, we give it plus 10. And if it's catch all uh, equals true and uh, max score equals 70. So uh, because we, don't, we can't really tell. So confidence lo uh, level is now more than uh, 90 equals high. Between 70 and 89, it's medium, and under 70 is low. If you want to know more about this version of the template, comment uh, open source tool uh, in the comments below. And if there is high demand, I will share it, and I will make a tutorial about it. Hi. Grab the workflow template in the description or in the pinned comment. In the next video, we'll turn those leads into hyper-personalized cold email using AI. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.